This episode is brought to you by Cisco Educational Premium. The spin angular momentum S of any physical system is quantized. The allowed values of S are S equivalent to reduced Planck's constant root S on N plus 1 is equivalent to Planck's constant on 2 pi root of N on 2 N plus 2 on 2 is equivalent to H on 4 pi root on root of n into n plus 2 where h is the Planck constant and h the dash is the reduced Planck's constant which is equivalent to h on 2 pi in contrast obedient angular momentum can only take on integer values of s that is even numbered values of n those particles which have integer spins such as half 3 on 2, 5 on 2 are known as fermions. While those particles with integer spins such as 0, 1, 2, etc. are known as bosons. The two families of particles obey different rules and broadly have different roles in the world around us. A key distinction between the two families is that the fermions obey the Pauli exclusion principle. That is, they cannot be two identical fermions simultaneously having the same quantum numbers. Meaning, roughly having the same position, velocity, and spin direction. Fermions obey the rules of Fermi direct statistics. In contrast, bosons obey the rules of Bose Einstein statistics and have no such restriction, so they may bunch up together in identical states. Also, composite particles can have spins different from their component particles. For example, a helium photon in the ground state has spin zero and behaves like a boson. Even though the quarks and electrons which make it up are all fermions. This has some fun consequences. Number one is that quarks and leptons, including electrons and neutrinos, which make up what is classically known as matter, are all fermions with spin half. The common idea that matter takes up space actually comes from the Pauli exclusion principle acting on these particles to prevent the fermions from being in the same quantum state. Further compaction would require electrons to occupy the same energy states and therefore a kind of pressure sometimes known as degeneracy pressure of electrons acts to resist the fermions being overly close. The mental fermions with other spins 3 on 2, 5 on 2, etc. are not known to exist. 2. Elementary particles which are thought of as carrying Forces are all bosons with spin 1. They include the photon which carries the electromagnetic force, the gluon which also the strong force, and the W and Z bosons with force. The ability of bosons to occupy the same quantum state is used in the laser, which aligns many photons having the same quantum number, the same direction and frequency. Superfluid liquid helium resulting from helium photons obeying bosons and superconductivity where pairs of electrons, which individually are fermions, act as single composite bosons. Elementary bosons with other spins, 0, 2, 3, and etc., were not historically known to exist, although they have received consider considerable theoretical treatment and are well established within their respective main mainstream theories. In particular, theoreticians have proposed the graviton predicted to exist by some quantum gravity theories with spin 2 and the Higgs boson explaining electroweak symmetry breaking with spin 0. Since 2013, the Higgs boson with spin 0 has been considered proven to exist. It is the first scalar elementary particle spin 0 known to exist in nature. And the last is that atomic nuclei have a nuclear spin, which may be either half integer or integer, so that the nuclei may be either fermions 
or bosons. Cisco Educational Premium is a section of Cisco Educationals with content that is not hosted here. There are episodes ranging from long to short videos. Remember those good old shots of ours? They are there. So do we get there? Use the link on screen or in the description or in the pinned comment below. Enjoy yourself. And I will see you in the next episode of Cisco Educationals. Yeah.